Hey, in this video, I wanted to show how I take uh, ZBrush uh, geometry, uh, ZBrush uh, meshes, and I bring it into uh, Maya for further uh, modeling. So right now I'm building this uh, cool little uh, alien. And so what's happening is in ZBrush, I'm actually creating the base shapes for my character. So right now I just sculpted a simple uh, little body. And if I click on my frame, you can see that it has many, many points. So this is way too dense for a game model, right? So I just wanted to show you my process of taking this and turning it into a low poly uh, mesh for uh, Maya so I can do more modeling, right? So uh, what I usually do is just go to geometry. Once you have this um, mesh selected in the right layer, it's pretty simple. You just go to geometry and under uh, zero measure you can you have some options here but uh, typically depends on the complexity of the shape if shape has a lot of sharp edges i could say detect edges if it has poly groups you know you might want to keep the groups but in this case let's just take the entire uh, body and just see what happens if i leave everything as default and i, I guess i could click this on it shouldn't make much difference, but just go ahead and say Z remesh. So right now we're at 332,000 points. If I say Z remesh, let's see what that takes us down to. All right, so this brought me down to 10,000, and that's uh, still way too high for my low poly uh, game character. So I'm going to go ahead and unclick adapt and say half and do it one more time. Now I'm at 5,000. I'm going to keep going. 2000, 2500, so let's get it even lower. I'm kind of looking for a low poly mesh. So 1300, I think is pretty good. Um, I could go lower and then come back if I wanted to. So let's see what lower one looks like. So at this point, we're starting to kind of lose the shape and maybe this is a little bit too low. So I'm gonna do undo. And I'm pretty happy actually with this number. So, once you're happy with your mesh and you like how it's looking, all you got to do now is just simply go Z. If you press go Z, that will take your geometry and bring it to Maya. Sometimes you might have to adjust the scale. And realign the shape. Alright, so that's how easy it is to take something out of ZBrush and bring it into Maya for uh, further modeling. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.